Removing and installing the rear wheel on your CSC electric motorcycle is super easy and it only requires a few tools. We're gonna to be using an eight millimeter socket, a 12 millimeter socket, a 14 millimeter socket, a 19 millimeter socket, and I'm gonna make my final belt adjustment with a 13 millimeter wrench. Let's get to it. First thing I wanna do is go ahead and get the brake caliper and the ABS sensor out of my way. I'm gonna use an eight millimeter to get the ABS sensor out. 12 millimeter on this bolt on the caliper. 14 millimeter on this one. And we're just gonna let that gently hang. Now the axle nut, the 19 millimeter. I'm gonna go ahead and slide out that backing plate, that adjusting plate. And I can use the 13 millimeter wrench to free the locking nut on the adjuster. Might need to move that adjuster before taking that plate, but it was loose enough now I could just slide it off. And then we'll also remove the locking nut or at least loosen it up on the left side as well. Now, after moving this adjuster all the way in, I have enough free play to pull the belt off. Now, all I need to do is pull the axle out. Now, I've got the motorcycle on the center stand, so the rear wheel is up off the ground. If I need some help holding it up, I can put a piece of wood under there. It's fairly lightweight though, so it's not gonna take much effort just to push the, the axle out and then remove the rear wheel. Now that we have the rear wheel removed, you'll note that the larger diameter spacer is on the drive side and the smaller diameter spacer is on the brake side. We also have the caliper mounting plate and to get it off, it might fall off when you remove the rear wheel or just pull it off. There's a slot on the back that's the brake stay and that holds things in place. When we reinstall, we'll put it back on and whenever you reinstall the brakes, you always wanna make sure that's in that slot because that's what's holding the caliper stationary as you apply the brake. Now, anytime you have your rear wheel off, you wanna inspect some things. Number one, inspect the tread of your tire. You can do that with the wheel on, but it's a lot easier to really see everything with it off. Uh, inspect the valve stem uh, that's going through the rim. Look for any kind of excessive wear. You can remove your pulley just by pulling it up. So there's a cush drive here. Your pulley carrier also has one, two, three, four bolts holding it onto the carrier. Uh, check the tension on those bolts. Make sure you've got some good torque on those. Uh, pretty small bolts. So I would say maybe 20 foot pounds of torque, if that. You've got lock nuts inside holding them in place as well. Check the cush drive itself for any kind of excessive wear on the rubber. Now we're ready to reinstall the rear wheel and get it in place. I'm gonna make sure that the caliper plate stays in place. To feed the wheel back in, you might need to remove it temporarily and then slide it back on. Now we're ready to reinstall the rear wheel. I'm gonna use that wood to kind of prop things up. Next, I'm gonna slide the belt back on the pulley. And to lubricate that, I'm actually gonna use some, some anti-seize. Now my axle adjuster plate, the axle nut. I'm just gonna put a little tension on that. I wanna leave it loose enough so that I can make the adjustment to the belt as needed and the tire can move back and forth. 
If you want to see more detailed instructions on belt adjustments, be sure to watch our belt adjustment video for the RX-1E. When I removed the rear brake caliper, this plate popped out and this is what the pads slide on. It's going to make sure that's back in place, kind of clipped in. And then as I reinstall the, the brake caliper, I'm also going to make sure that the pads are in the correct position and that the tabs from the pads line up and securely fit into the, the sliding clip. Now we have the belt adjusted, the lock nuts are securely fastened. Final step is gonna to be to torque down the axle nut. I'm gonna put approximately 40 pounds, foot pounds on this nut. And then finally, one more time, pump up the rear brake, verify that everything's operating smoothly and we're good to go. Thanks for joining us once again at the CSC Garage. I enjoyed showing you just how easy it is to remove and reinstall the rear wheel on your RX-1E. Be sure to check out all of our tech videos. Make sure you're subscribed so that you don't miss any new tech videos on your RX-1E. And until next time, enjoy the ride. Mm -hmm.